The Heritage Walk Raha City's Nine Cultural Gems Raha City is not just your ideal seafood destination. Many people are unaware that it harbors an intriguing history that you can uncover on a quick cultural tour in the heart of the city. Once upon a time, grand houses of the affluent lined the banks of Pun Nai River. However, advancing Japanese forces during World War II forced the locals to burn their homes rather than let the enemies pillage and destroy them. Even earlier, the river was a bustling center for trade and commerce. A visit to the heart of Raha City is truly a trip down memory lane. Number 1. Ong Pun Ublian Museum, the Water Tank Museum. In 1916, construction of a water tank near the town's Presidencia commenced to provide water to the Kapisnans during the dry months. The tank was designed to ensure a steady water supply in the town, particularly during the dry season. This cylindrical structure stood as a testament to early 20th century ingenuity. As the decades passed, the water tank outlived its original purpose and was eventually repurposed into a museum. Today, Ong Pun Ublian Museum houses valuable historical and archaeological artifacts, offering visitors a glimpse into the region's rich past. In 2017, a new building was inaugurated beside the old water tank to accommodate more exhibits and welcome more guests. This expansion has allowed the museum to present a broader array of cultural and historical exhibits, attracting both locals and tourists. Number 2. President Manuel Raja Statue and Marker Erected in honor of the most illustrious son of the province of Capas, the statue of President Manuel A. Rajas stands as a significant landmark. Manuel Rajas, the fifth president of the Philippines and the last president of the Commonwealth, played a crucial role in the country's history. His contributions to the nation are celebrated through this statue, which was awarded a historical marker by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines in 2012. In 2016, a bronze statue was unveiled to replace the old one, commemorating the late president's 68th death anniversary. This new statue is a replica of a Guillermo Tolentino statue, which was turned over by the family to the National Museum in Manila. The statue not only honors President Rajas but also serves as a reminder of the significant impact he had on the country's history. Number 3. President Manuel Rajas Birthplace. Considered the oldest surviving Bahá'í na Butoan Capas, the house was built by Don Eleuterio Acuña, President Rajas's grandfather. His mother, Rosario Acuña, was two months pregnant when she moved with her father shortly after her husband, Gerardo Rajas, was murdered by the Guardia Civil Less in Punai. Eight months later, she gave birth to a baby she named Manuel. The house was inherited by Don Eleuterio's youngest daughter, Javita, and ownership was passed on to this branch of the family that maintains the house to this day. The well-preserved house showcases period furniture and family memorabilia, providing a fascinating look at the life and times of one of the Philippines' most important historical figures. The structure itself is a fine example of Spanish-Filipino architecture, with its stone lower floor and wooden upper floor, designed to withstand the tropical climate and occasional earthquakes. Number 4. Raja City Bandstand. This quintessential American-era infrastructure epitomizes the wealth of old society and the flamboyance of pre-war architecture. Built in 1926 under the auspices of the city's premier social club, Circulo Gal Ante, the bandstand was designed in an ornate style reminiscent of the structures built during that era. The bandstand has served as the center of town life, hosting numerous community activities. Here, many fiesta queens were crowned, 
and it continues to be a venue for various events today. Designed as an earthquake-proof octagonal pavilion, it was initially movable, with a rounded or arched base for flexibility. Over time, a series of renovations fixed the pavilion at its present site, ensuring its stability and continued use. The bandstand remains a symbol of the city's rich cultural heritage and a testament to its vibrant community life. Number 5. Raja City Cathedral. The Immaculate Conception Parish was founded in 1707, and the church was built in 1872. It has been praised as one of the largest churches in Western Visayas and one of the most beautiful in the Philippines. The church has a storied past, having been heavily damaged by a storm, an earthquake, and later by World War II. Despite these challenges, it was repaired in the 1950s. Today, only the Spanish walls remain as a stark reminder of its history. The church's interior is painted yellow, and the altar was rehabilitated back to its pre-war glory, showcasing intricate designs and religious art. The cathedral continues to be a central place of worship and a significant historical landmark, reflecting the enduring faith and resilience of the local community. Number 6. Raja City Bridge. The Raja City Bridge, also known as the Old Kapas Bridge, was built between 1908 and 1910, during the height of the Americans' bridge-building era in the Philippines. It was constructed to facilitate better transportation and commerce across the Punnai River. The bridge has withstood the bombings of World War II and remains a vital link connecting the Kapas non-separated by the Punnai River. Its durability and historical significance make it a beloved landmark. The bridge not only serves practical purposes but also stands as a monument to the engineering prowess of the early 20th century and the historical events that have shaped the city. Number 7. Raja City Fountain. Dubbed as Kilometer Zero, the Raja City Fountain was built in 1925. The original foundation was severely damaged by shrapnel during World War II until it was restored in 1946. Eight fish were placed on its rim, from whose mouths water spouted to the center. The fountain was renovated in 1999 to replace the broken jet spray, and was given a controversial facelift in 2007, featuring four male statues in a knee-bent position that seemed to carry the load of life. This renovation sparked discussions among locals about the changes to the iconic structure. In 2010, it was redesigned once again to resemble its original structure, restoring its historical appearance. The fountain remains a central and cherished feature of the city, symbolizing both resilience and heritage. Number 8. Jose Rizal Monument. Just 15 years after Rizal's death, Governor Jose Cortez Altavas commissioned the Jose Rizal Monument in 1911. This makes it one of the oldest Rizal monuments in the Philippines. The words, Patria, Homeland, Libertad, Liberty, and Justicia, Justice, are inscribed on the monument, reflecting Rizal's ideals and the aspirations he had for the Filipino people. In honor of these values, Governor Altavas named his daughters Patria Amada, Libertad Amaculada, and Justicia Perfecta. The monument serves not only as a tribute to Rizal but also as an enduring reminder of the principles he stood for. It continues to inspire residents and visitors alike, underscoring the importance of patriotism, freedom, and justice. Number 9. Kapas Provincial Capital. Originally a two-story government-owned wooden house, the Kapas Provincial Capital was transformed into a concrete building in 1911 through the efforts of Governor Jose Cortez Altavas. This transformation marked a significant development in the province's infrastructure. Between 1945 and 1949, 
a new floor was added to accommodate the growing administrative needs. Traces of its American colonial past, such as the eagle atop the entrance, remain intact, highlighting the architectural influences of the period. The Capitol building stands as a symbol of governance and progress, reflecting the historical journey of the province from its early days to the present.